Good morning, a and <laughs> <laughs> And welcome back to another season of the Panther Sports Zone. I'm your host, David Smith. I'm Cyril Neville. And I'm David Killing. Welcome back, fellas. Hey, nice to welcome. See y'all. hey I'm so excited for how the season is going to go this year. Yeah. Good to have you guys back. I'm ready to talk yeah. about everything we need to talk about. Well, like that. what are we starting with? Let's get into it. Uh, <laughs> this last Saturday, the Panthers football team faced Virginia Lynchburg and blew them out 51 to 0. Scorching. Scorching. Uh, they play Jackson State this Thursday here at 6 30. So if you're available, make sure you come out and support your team. We're on a, we're on a, on a, a spree right now. We got the best running back in the NBA. Arguably. One of Arguably. the best the quarterbacks in SWAC. He's electrifying. He's very electrifying. He can do in between the tackles. He can run on the outside. He can catch passes out of the backfield. He's just one of those do it all backs that you need in your backfield. And his leadership shows it all as well. So they face, you know, Jackson State this Thursday. They're two and five. We're three and four. And hopefully we pull out the win. Just continue doing everything y'all doing, guys, for real. Yeah, I definitely see. Yeah, shouts out to y'all. But I was at the tailgate most of the game. So <laughs> I couldn't tell y'all what happened. But it'd be like that sometimes. So I what guess, man. About this man said I was at the tailgate. Anyways, uh, the preseason things came out for basketball, and congratulations to Prairie View. We were predicted to win SWAC this year Ooh. after they doubted us last year. Right. They said Grambling was going to win, and they did terrible. Uh, but TSU is predicted to finish second, Grambling third. Um, Devontae Patterson was given the player of the year, preseason player of the year. Ooh with uh, Jared Andrews giving the second team honor. So congratulations to them guys. Congratulations. They have big, no. we have definitely big shoes to fill losing Gary. Right. Um, he's obviously playing overseas. Shouts out to him for yeah. that. Yeah, shouts out to him. But I definitely think with the leadership that we have still there, we're able to step up. We're going to be able to step up and we should make a big run. Our uh, off season, off conference schedule is crazy this year. Who is it? Okay. You play. It's a lot of tough. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, I'm just surprised people are still down this because we had a great run last year, especially in the SWAT conference. So I'll be excited to how uh, I'm excited to see how things develop this year and with guys coming back and how there's they start to form chemistry to try to form another run again. So we'll see how it goes. I wish them luck. Yeah, I feel like in the SWAC though, it's really just between TSU and us, honestly. Yeah. Head monster, but we'll see what happens during the season. Uh, the cross country had a, an event this past weekend, and the men's finished fourth overall with TSU winning, and the women's finished fifth overall with Alabama State winning. But congratulations to Levante Williams for receiving men's all conference honors. Keep up the good work. Congrats, congrats. Yeah. Indoor season and outdoor season is actually coming up as well. We've been doing pretty good the past two or two. I'm looking forward to keeping the momentum going. When we come back, we got NBA season starting tonight. We got big news in the NFL and much more from the Panther Sports Zone. Prairie View a and University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View a and University. Our tradition, your opportunity. Traditions are not made overnight. They are created through a legacy of excellence and a commitment to something much greater. For more than 135 years, Prairie View A&M University has provided students with a strong academic foundation, a unique college experience, and the opportunity to make their mark on the world. This is a place where friendships are formed, discoveries are made, and dreams are realized. This is Prairie View A&M University. Our tradition, your opportunity. Welcome back to the Panther Sports Zone. We have some breaking news from the NFL. One of the players uh, from the Atlanta Falcons, Mohamed Sanu, was traded to the New England Patriots yesterday. 
And speaking on the Patriots, they had a demolishing win against the New York Jets last night for Monday Night Football, 33-0. You can still see that Tom Brady is still playing very electrifying. He had 249 passing yards. He threw just for only one TD, but they still had a big game. So, you know, the Patriots is one of the, I say, one of the best teams in the AFC. Literally, you know, number well, one in that they conference. They have to so. be. There's really no other competition besides, what, the Ravens? I'd say the Chiefs as Ravens well. Ravens coach? I mean, yeah. yeah. You could count those. You could put them in that category. They're not, but they're not touching. Colts not touching Patriots, though. You think so? No, they'll they'll end up folding on, at the end of the season. But for me, with the Patriots, they have, like, different ways to win. Yeah. With the Chiefs, it's only Patrick Mahomes because their defense is not going to win games. Yeah. Speaking so when yeah. your team is just one-dimensional and you can't find other ways to win, then most likely you're not going to win. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Speaking yeah. on the Chiefs as well, they they beat the Broncos 30-6. to six. Patrick Mahomes had a, ooh, a bad knee injury. Hopefully he comes back soon, but they were still able to pull out the win. Joe Falco had 213 yards. He threw for on a 21 for 34. And LaShawn McCoy only had 12 carries for 64 yards. And also on to the Rams. The Rams beat the Falcons 37 to 10. Jared Groff threw for 268 yards and two TDs. Todd Gurley only had 18 carries and 41 yards. Uh, it's kind of crazy to see that Todd Gurley is not really having the season that we predicted him to have. But I think it's just because it's a lot of injury risk. I mean, a lot of his injuries that's, you know, holding him back. But, you know. Jalen Ramsey had a good game, though. Yeah. His first right. game as a Ram. First game as a Ram. Jalen Ramsey was traded to the Rams, and that's very crazy to see. Plus, uh, Marcus Peters was traded to the, uh, to the um, Ravens. Ravens as well. So it's a it's been a lot of trades that's been happening in the span of, like, 48 hours. So this NFL season is still – <laughs> going crazy. Who? The trades. <laughs> what did we say? No, I'm saying I think he ain't done yet. I was calling him Marcus Peters. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, for the love. But he had a good game, though. Yeah, yeah, he actually yeah, played good. Yeah. I like that secondary. Yeah. It's, it's coming back to the, the old Ravens defense that they felt physical. You know, they still got TJ Mosley. Yeah, I really like the team. They can win in different ways, too. Yeah. Just as long as, Mark like, Jackson, your team top to bottom. Right. Just playing well. So. Right. Speaking of uh, injuries, Zion Williamson will be out for the first six to eight weeks of the NBA season. So, unfortunately, he will not be playing tonight against the uh, defending champion Raptors. Mm. I don't expect them to have – I don't know. I really don't know what to expect from them this year. From the Kawhi Raptors? Left, yes, yeah. Kawhi uh, left. Uh, I don't they expect g- anything. They uh, they gave Siakam uh, some big money this season. So oh, that's but cool, even but, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying they're gonna have everything around him. I think as yeah, well. But so they don't have no they don't have no real leaders this year. They I mean they have a couple of players that have coming back. They still have yeah, um, but they don't have a leader like Kawhi though. They don't have a top dog on their team. Nah. I mean that's in the true. NBA you need one. I think they still will make. Superstars. I think they still will make the playoffs yeah, though. Probably as the, the AC. Yeah, yeah, probably the as the AC. We don't know though because. Hold on, you have to relax though, because last year when uh, Kawhi Leonard was out, they was winning a lot of games. But you think they're going to they gonna beat Philly? They can. Philly cannot shoot. You think they beat the Heat? Okay. You know I don't what? Even think they we we say that. We'll say that for another day. <laughs> we'll say that for another day. I don't day. know, yeah. man. Don't sleep on the Heat. <laughs> Go ahead. You got it. I got it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Lakers, Lakers and Clippers also play tonight. L.A. Nation, Laker Nation, we back in this thing. Oh. Uh, I expect them to take the win. <laughs> Paul George is not going to be playing the first, what, six, seven games? Because yeah. of a short, a short short, injury. Yeah, his yeah. shoulder is still messed up from the uh, last season. Right. Still injured. Uh, an interesting to re-signing was Jalen Brown signing for $115 million. Yeah, considering I what's really, been happening. Yeah, I don't really know why you would do that. I, he's good. He's a good player, but not for no $115 million. Well, for him, I feel like it was – a confident shock when he was just benched out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Like he had a good role on the team and then just out of nowhere, Brad Stevens just said, all right, you're going to come off the bench and you're going to get limited minutes. So for him, that was like, yo, like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. So I feel like with Kyrie being gone and Al Horford being gone, 
is it's really Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum that has to step up to the plate and see if they can deliver. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if they're gonna be able to recover after last season. Well, I feel like they have more of a positive attitude now, just because like oh, they know what's going. They know who's gonna be right. on the team, mm-hmm. so they know who their squad is. They know who the roster is, and now it's just a matter of them playing together and seeing what can happen. So. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I'm ready for I'm this season. I'm just excited to see yeah, that I'm the ready. NBA season is back and with all these trades that happen in the off season. Dante just, Murray also resigned too. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, he's, I like him. He can be. He's going to be a yeah. star in this league. So right. he just had an off season. Yeah, I think he was injured last season. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he's coming back and he's, you know, in the system with, um, what is his name? I forgot his name. Derek White? No, no, the coach. The coach. Oh, Greg. Oh, Greg. Yeah, Greg Popovich. He's one of the best NBA coaches in the game. And he's going to mold him into a better player. They got a lot of young players on the team. And they still got uh, Patty Mills. They also got Lonnie Walker. Right. And crazy thing is they weren't even, like, projected to be in the playoffs this year. But they was – I'll give them, like, a seven seed, eight seed, depending on how it goes. They're still in the West. So, Um, also, people in the West is – the Kings, Buddy Hill just resigned. That's going to be one of the best one twos in yeah, the league. Yeah. De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Hill. Yeah. That's going to be crazy. For sure, right. one of the best young squads yeah. in the league. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Buddy sure. Hill is very underrated. Even seeing his days at Oklahoma, he was tearing it yeah. up through the NCAA tournament. So he's one. Of, he's an efficient scorer, and he's up there with Steph Curry and Clay Thompson with the 50, 40, 90. So yeah. he. But he, you don't have him in the playoffs, shooter. right? Who, Kings? Yeah. Yeah. All right. At what spot? At like a 60, 50. Six? Davis, you be having bold predictions. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Cold, they they, like they cold. Like but but so we going to see it throughout the season because yeah. I feel like they still need some veteran presence in the locker room. So no, they, they got, who they have they now? They did good last year. They just injuries held them back, and then they just fell off. Yeah, but you still need a veteran to just you like. Do, but yeah. At what point? The playoffs. You don't expect to go anywhere, but you still need somebody in there to just somebody that's been there, done that. They haven't done anything. Yeah, I understand. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Someone who's not gonna see the court is Clay Thompson, though. Yeah. Yeah. Man's out, looking to be out for the year. Yeah. Um, I really don't expect the Warriors to be that well this year, to be honest. Yeah, I expect them to Why? miss the playoffs. I think they're gonna. Come. I think Clay, he Clay Thompson has a possibility of coming back. But Even if they do, it's the Western Conference is too. Acquired, but they just acquired. They acquired D'Lo, and he can be a perfect fit. And he he's gonna when Clay Thompson comes back, he's gonna play the three. That's what everybody's saying. Clay Thompson at the three. Yeah, Clay Thompson and at Steph the three. Steph Curry at the one and D'Lo at the two. More likely like that. Yeah, Clay Thompson is six. Do you understand? Clay yeah, Thompson he like six, six seven. Yeah. He's six seven. Like he's a perfect position to play the three, and he's a two way player. And then you have D'Lo out there running the two. Really, is I think D'Lo is gonna be running the point. And, and Curry? Steph and no. Curry and Clay Thompson is gonna be running off screen. Small. Nobody can guard him though. Who? Steph Curry? What do you mean? <laughs> who can guard? Who is there a lot of players that can guard Steph Curry? Not a lot, he just dropped forty. Right. He just dropped well, forty last week it, in a well, but preseason. It's, it's, it's more like how he used to drop thirty. Yeah. In two thousand sixteen, when he was averaging no regular season, when he was averaging thirty points a game. You do you remember that? But look, do you remember that? Dave? Look, 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 look. Do you remember it's that? More, it's I'm more. You know. Look, it's more about. It's more than Steph Curry now, because now Clay's out for the season. You don't have KD. It's just you but and you Draymond. But you have D'Lo, so you gotta understand that as well. Yeah, You're but replacing D'Lo with KD, bro. He, he he's a good or Clay fit, for though. that team, bro. He's a he's a he's a good fit though. Like, not he's not KD, but he's still like a A minus player, and he's only twenty three years old. He's only getting better. I'm not gonna lie to you. D'Lo needs his own team. He was perfect for the Nets. Yeah. But obviously. For me, I feel like the Warriors just run better when they have Clay. That's just yeah. me. But we'll see. But how, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Yeah, they're not going nowhere. That's just my opinion. <laughs> they lost KD as the best player. If he's not top two, he's definitely one. Well, we'll see. He had an Achilles injury. And yeah. All right. Nobody can guard him. You right, but you still got to play basketball. You still got to oh, jump. He'll be back. You got to jump yeah. off that foot. He'll be back. We'll see. Y'all seen Lamelo? Mm. How's he? Doing? He changed the shot. 
It looked better. All right. He's going crazy overseas. I like the Pelican squad though. They have a nice roster as far as like veterans and just young players. Huh? They need to put on some height too. He's like six six, six seven. Mm. He definitely gonna be the yeah. number one draft pick. Yeah, I, I understand what I said. I think he might be the best ball. Are you serious? When he gets to the NBA. Who, LaMelo? Yeah. Oh, for sure. LaMelo, for sure, is the best. For now? Do you want to get to the MLB? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, um, it is official. The Astros and the Washington Nationals are playing in the World Series. Game one is tonight in Houston. Um, Matt Scherzer and Garrett Cole on the mound. Nobody's scoring points tonight. It's only going to be like a 1-0 game. That's going to be a, a dog fight. Mm. That's going to be crazy. I see this series going to six games probably. I, I, I see six or seven to be honest. Yeah. Because every both both uh, bullpen, not bullpens, rotations are stacked. It's uh, Matt Sturgeon and Garrett Cole tonight, Strasburg and Verlander tomorrow, Zach Greinke and Corbin in game Both two. teams have nice bullpens. Yeah. But I think ours is deeper though for the Houston yeah. Astros. But I like both of the lineups too. So that would be a good, interesting series. But we'll see. It should have been the Yankees, but we'll be back. No, nah, stop it, man. We'll be back. Prairie View a and University is about the students. Students don't just come here for the education. They come for the faculty, for the creativity, the camaraderie, an excellent standard of living, and the school spirit. They come here to gain something profound and to give something back. Students come for the tradition of excellence. This is Prairie View a and University. Our tradition, your opportunity. Traditions are not made overnight. They are created through a legacy of excellence and a commitment to something much greater. For more than 135 years, Prairie View A&M University has provided students with a strong academic foundation, a unique college experience, and the opportunity to make their mark on the world. This is a place where friendships are formed, discoveries are made, and dreams are realized. This is Prairie View A&M University. Our tradition, your opportunity. Welcome back to the first episode of the Panther Sports Zone. It was a good episode, interesting episode. Uh, we'll definitely have a lot more information for you for tomorrow. tomorrow. We'll be back for sure. Uh, Check I'm us your out. host, David Smith. I'm Cyril Neville. And I'm David Killings.